everybody, my name is Gizzy and today we're going to be doing a recap episode on The Altered Adventure Volume 1. First up, before this video begins, I just want to say that there are spoilers in this video. If you haven't watched the first volume yet, all 12 episodes, go and do that now. The playlist is linked down below to watch all 12 episodes. Uh, you're, you're, you're loving. Trust me. Everyone else seems to love it. I also want to say thank you so much for all the support on Altered Adventure. You guys are loving it and it makes me happy to see that you guys love it. So thank you so much for the support and I will be continuing on the series uh, very soon. Before the recap begins, I just want to say that this is volume one and the way that I'm breaking Altered Adventures is that there are three volumes, 12 episodes in each volume, 36 episodes in each season. We just finished volume one as the 12th episode went by, so there'll be another 12 episodes for volume two and then another 12 episodes for volume three and then the season one will be finished and then we can decide if we want to do season two or not. As for season two, I'm not sure, it just depends on how far it goes after the 36th episode, but I will be trying to make at least 36 episodes in uh, Alter Adventure. Okay, so I think it's time to play the recap now. The point of the recap is to remind you of what happened in volume one in one episode, so you're ready for volume two, so you're caught up and you know exactly what's going to happen in volume two. After the recap, there will be hints at what will happen in season two, but if you want to keep that as a secret, then you can just end the video after the recap. Okay, so enjoy the recap. Gizzy goes on a cruise for a holiday while Bash, Kib, and Yoshi become pirates. While Gizzy drinks a sleeping potion made by the bartender, he sleeps through the attack and he wakes up to find everyone dead. After a small confrontation with the pirates, a tornado erupts and they all end up overboard. Gizzy wakes up and finds himself in an altered universe and gets help from a guardian named Voice, who is just a voice. As they go on the quest to get back home, Gizzy soon develops the power to morph when he is bit by a werewolf and a fairy named Benji saves him. But another guardian named Ratchet fears Gizzy will find the prophecy and blackmails voice into handing Gizzy over, and he agrees in exchange for his body back. And it's revealed a man named Witch first removed his body. Before getting imprisoned, he loses his stuff and ends up digging up a grave to get it back, and also gets the Baraf Hammer. Walking back to his current home, the Ender Island, he passes a village and an NPC named Brayden discover him with the hammer and informs the village that they have found the Chosen One that will help them to the prophecy to stop the Guardians as they are in a secret organization to stop the Guardians called the Rebellion. Voice lures Gizzy to Ratchet's kingdom and he gets captured, but thanks to his morphing ability he escapes, but leaves the hammer behind with Ratchet. When Gizzy escapes, Ratchet threatens Voice again, but this time he refuses. When going to speak with the other two Guardians, Inferno and Lethvia, about Voice refusing to help stop Gizzy going to the prophecy, Ratchet gets told off for blackmailing Voice and to not do anything stupid again, and Lethvia says she'll spy on Gizzy to see if he is trustworthy or not and it's revealed that Yoshi is in the altered universe as Inferno's right-hand man. Meanwhile, Kib, Ratchet's right-hand man who also ended up in the universe, bumps into the village and discovers they are helping Gizzy to the prophecy, and destroys the village, killing everyone. While escaping, Gizzy hides in the Lucky Block cavern under the kingdom with an old man named Gypsy who can see into the future, telling him he will never get home and should get used to the altered universe. He refuses to believe him and heads back to the village to find it has been destroyed. Gizzy and Kib finally come face to face and as they argue, Brayden reveals himself as he survived and used his secret ability to blind Kib so Gizzy can get away. Letfia was spying on Gizzy and overhears Kib admitting that Ratchet told him to kill the innocent people, to which she informs Inferno. Kib and Ratchet are summoned on trial to explain the destroyed village and Ratchet is threatened to be dethroned as a guardian. But he has given his last warning and to show he must live with the consequences of what he does, Inferno kills his right hand man, Kib. After escaping, Gizzy finds Ender Island destroyed and the rest of his stuff taken again, but this is where Brayden shows up and they both team up. Gizzy is persuaded by Brayden to join the Rebellion and they head to higher rank, the leadership base of the Rebellion. But on their journeys, Lefia teleports Gizzy away to talk to him and Gizzy lies to her saying he isn't going to the prophecy when he is. Brayden continues to higher rank alone and tells the commander Taven about Gizzy who will go to the prophecy, but learns Taven hates power bonds which Brayden must keep his ability a secret. Gizzy no longer with Brayden decides to go solo and starts to build his own home without the Rebellion. Voice checks on Ratchet to see if he's okay after what happened, but both Ratchet and the Baraf Hammer is missing as the kingdom's been broken into, and Voice reveals that he was the one who destroyed Ender Island. 
Back in the Lucky Block Cavern, Gypsy discusses Witch, who was the one who broke into the kingdom and took the hammer, needing to give it to Gizzy. It's also revealed that Witch is Gypsy's son before he leaves, but it turns out Ratchet was listening to the entire conversation of Witch wanting to take over the universe and plans on using Gizzy to do so. This is the same Witch who removed Voice's body and stole the Brath Hammer, and is the son of someone who could see into the future. And boom, that's what happened in Volume 1, but now time for some hints. Including the Barath Hammer, there are three other items that you need to get into the Prophecy. And so Gizzy will be finding the other three items as well. Bash finally makes an appearance. Yes, I know you've all been waiting for Bash to make an appearance, but the long dreaded wait has been finally over. He will be making an appearance in Volume 2, but he'll be making a choice that will he be able to live up to. And that's all I can say. Before the Guardians, there was a king that died, and when he died, he gave his powers split into four to the Guardians. Earth, fire, water, and air. But in this volume, Voice plans on using Gizzy to bring King back from the dead. Gizzy teams up with Witch unaware of his true intentions. And the last hint that I will be saying is that the prophecy, what is the prophecy, will finally be revealed in the volume. I also feel like I really need to mention because it's been a lot of comments, no, this is not a dream. I, even I hate that. I hate it when you suddenly wake up, it's like, oh, but it's a dream. No. None of this is a dream, it's all real. Gizzy will never wake up and back in real life and Altered Adventure has, was just a dream. It's, it's never gonna happen. Before I end this video, I just wanna say uh, the background history of the Guardians. When the King died, his power split into four elements, fire, earth, air, and water, as I've said, but it all went into the four original Guardians. The original Guardians was Witch, Voice, Barath, and Elizabeth. Barath and Elizabeth, we've seen their graveyards and they have died, and when they've died, Elizabeth's sister, Letfia, was passed over uh, to become Guardian. And when Baraf died, the power went over to the person who was in charge of the Never, which is Inferno. Inferno was originally the championship of the Never, but now he is the Guardian of the Fire. Which was dethroned when he removed Voice's body, but is still alive. Now with that being said, only the four original Guardians know what is actually inside the prophecy. But with Barath and Elizabeth dead, that means it's only Voice and Witch that knows what's inside the prophecy. Inferno, Letfia, and Ratchet doesn't even know what's inside the prophecy. And that's about it for this recap video. Uh, I'm super excited for Volume 2. I've got some really good storylines coming up. Uh, gonna make you guys shock and awe and cry and laugh and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good one. Um, maybe better than Kip's death. Yep, I, I went there. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you do enjoy this series, please send it to your friends and like it and share it and post it everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, MySpace, everywhere else that you can think of. Uh, just spreading the word means so much and it helps out and just getting the word out there. The Alter Adventure series, uh, it just, it means a lot. So thank you so much for everybody who has done that. Um, it just... You guys are great. It wouldn't be as successful as it is now without you guys, uh, with all the support. And if you could just keep showing your support by liking the videos, sending it to your friends, sending it everywhere on social media. I love you guys. So thank you so much. Anyways, gonna end the video here, so thanks for watching, leave a like, bam, and get ready for volume two.